Hello, my name is John with KZ Alaska, and today we're going to talk about some common problems with these little micro helicopters and a pretty good solution for them. Um, in this, I know I'm using a Nano in this example, but it works for a lot of these micro helicopters, all the way up to the 130X that Blade makes or the Walkera 4G6, and it also works for the helicopters in between, like the V922, the uh, FBL 100, and it also works really well in fixed pitch helicopters like the V911 or the MSRX. And the problem we're going to talk about today is the toilet bowl effect. And that's when your helicopter just kind of does big lazy circles when you're trying to hover it. Um, and also, usually if you're having toilet bowl effect, you feel like you're kind of chasing the helicopter the whole time when you're controlling it. Really good solution for this is to put a no ring kit on it. And that's to take little silicone O-rings and put them all the connections between the swash plate and the push rods and the blade grips. And what this does is it really tightens up those connections. The uh, ball links on these little helicopters aren't really tight. You know, you've got your, your linkage here in your ball, and there's usually some slop in there. So when you're flying along, it'll be kind of rattling around, and when you make your input, your linkage will move, and it takes a while to catch that ball and move it with it. And then when it stops moving, a lot of times that ball will keep moving before it stops against the linkage. And that's what causes the helicopter to just kind of move around. But when you put an O-ring in there to take up that space behind the ball, it tightens up that linkage. So when your linkage moves, your ball moves, and your helicopter moves. And when your linkage stops, the ball stops. So you have much more precise control. It really does make quite a difference. Um, and so you'll find everything you need for that in just our basic head kits. If you also notice that when you're spinning up on the ground, your helicopter tends to lose traction and spin up on the ground a little bit before you take off, which can throw off your orientation and make it hard to get started. Putting skid nuts on can help, and that's just applying O-rings to the skids to give it a little more traction on the surface. And we saw head and skid kits that cover that. Now, if you're into really hardcore 3D flying, you might want to think about upgrading the dampeners in your head. And that's the piece of rubber that sits on your feathering shaft and um, allows for a little bit of cushion so then that feathering shaft moves is not absolutely throwing your helicopter around. But the stiffer the dampener, the more response you're going to get. Now, I don't recommend this for beginners. Um, it's kind of like if you're, if you're skiing, if you get on really, really advanced skis, like racing skis, to start out, you're going to have a problem because every movement you make is going to translate into a turn. You want something a little more forgiving. The same with the helicopters. But if you're into 3D flying and you really want to get that helicopter torquing around, getting the kit with the stiffer dampeners in it can make quite a difference. It can really help the um, performance there. So that's what these kits can do for you. They can tighten up the control of your helicopter, they can make it easier to take off if you're having problems with sliding around, and the dampeners can even really improve the performance of your helicopter if you're getting into the, the hardcore 3D stuff. And you can find all these kits and more at kzalaska.com, www.kzalaska.com.